Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. New Islander dropping today. It is the Islander Roslyn. Uh, Roslyn is a town, North Shore again, Nassau County, Long Island. I guess not too far from Manhasset, actually, another Islander model. Uh, so these are going to be dressy divers, three of them. Uh, our first full uh, rose gold plated watch. Um, a two-tone, not our first two-tone, but there haven't been many two-tones. Um, and then our first full gun metal plated watch. We've had full DLCs, uh, full um, black IP plated, um, but this is going to be our first uh, fully gun metal done watch. We will check them out. For my own wish check, I am still wearing my uh, Casio G-Shock, the Casio Oak as it were, uh, that I picked up at the Wind Up Watch Fair. And on my other wrist, the Islander Port Jefferson. This is the white dial version, which has sold out, but four other colors are still available. Black dial gilt, the uh, sun faded orange, or some are calling salmon, a nice Caribbean green, and a, uh, a dark gray. That's all I've got. Uh, let's, let's, let's meet Rosalind. Okay, so let's meet our friend, our new friend, Rosalind. I got a two-tone, a gunmetal, and a rose gold, blue dial black dial, and a really nice chocolate dial. They're all the same watch, and I will, of course, pick up the blue one first. That blue is amazing. Is that not gorgeous or what? What a great blue. We went through a lot of different iterations to get the right blue for this one, and I think, I think Ryan did a, a fantastic job on this one. ISL 167, 168, 169 are going to be these three watches. They're all the same price at 329 and they're going to share very similar specs except for colors. So let's go. Uh, 41 and a half millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to measure like from the 2 to the 8. Okay, that's here. It is 13.7 thick to a flat sapphire crystal from the embossed case back to the top of the flat sapphire and to reflective coating on the inside. It's 47 and a half on the lug tip to lug tip and you'll see that we have a female or negative end link bracelet and lug holes for easy peasy strap changes. I had mentioned the solid embossed case back with the Islander lighthouse and text around it. The bracelet is a two-tone so you have the polished yellow gold tone in the middle and the brushed stainless steel links on the outside. It is solid end link. It is solid link and it is sized with screws. Here they are, screws on this side, whoops. Screws on this side. Three position or three micro adjust clasp milled on the inside. Uh, Let's see, I did mention, I don't know if I mentioned price, whoops, 329. The weight is 160, about 168 grams, 165 to 170, depending on which version uh, you check out. Water resistance is 200 meters. Uh, if you want a dimension from protrusion to protrusion, it's about 46 millimeters, okay? Uh, so it does give a little extra wrist presence. Um, as I said, I'm calling this the dressy diver because I think it looks great um, in any formal situation. It's got a lot of, it's got bling to it. Um, but it's also rugged and sporty at the same time. So the bezel is knurled, also gold, uh, I, I can't, really can't say gold plated, although people call it gold plated, gold tone plated, because it's not real gold. Uh, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. The bezel insert is ceramic. It is blue to match. Um, and it is filled with like gilt paint, um, like almost like gold leaf gold paint. Uh, really nice, gives a little sparkle to it. You can see a little bit of, I, I hate to use the word unevenness, but that's kind of what it is. It's, you can it really, it catches light beautifully. It does an amazing, amazing job. Gold crown is screwed down, matches the knurling on the outside of the bezel. It is powered by a Seiko NH38 movement, which is a true no date movement. So unscrew it, wind it, pull it out, one click, and you are changing the time. Push it back in. You are winding it and then push down and turn for your full 200 meters of water resistance. I'll bring it up so you can see the beautiful dial a little bit better. Uh, the hands are rose gold. We are looking at um, Super Luminova. Uh, you'll, I believe, uh, 
I believe this one's BGW9, the other two are C3, but we'll see that when the lights go out. So we have awesome applied indices and markers, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and 12. So we have at the evens and then batons at the odds. And then a matching, uh, hands are kind of matching that whole vibe. Okay, that's one. Let's go to something a little more tactical, if you will. This is the, there we go. This is the gunmetal version with the black dial. Same spec, same movement, same size. Uh, this guy has got silver outline indices, hands, numbers, all that jazz. The bezel insert is black, and then it is also filled with uh, almost like a dark, dark gray. So the bezels on these don't light up. It was kind of more important for us to get the look right rather than having them glow. Uh, so they're filled with a, like a dark gray paint, kind of matches the whole motif of the watch. So this is gunmetal. Uh, gunmetal is not as dark as black, black IP. Uh, it's a, uh, you know, I don't know if I don't, here, here's a known black surface. So you can see the difference. It's got a more of a gray tone to it. A little bit of a different look. There you go. Still a stainless steel case back. Generally, most people do not plate their case backs because the case back is a, area of constant 100% wear, so eventually it will wear, so it's easier just to keep it. Stainless steel most of the time. Uh, so this is your gunmetal version, Roslyn. Uh, silver, silver applied logo, name, automatic, 200 meters, 656 feet. You get all that. And then the last one. Very bold move here on this one, but you know, I feel like there is certainly a customer base that wants a watch like this. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I will be 100% honest with you, but you know, we don't always make, I've learned in business, you don't always sell what you like. If I did, the store would be much smaller, different strokes for different folks. Full rows. Oh, one second. Let me back up one second. I'm sorry. This bracelet is sized with screws. Okay. Solid end length size with screws. I wanted cause this one is not. Okay. Full rose gold plating on the case and on the bracelet and on the bezel. Bracelet itself is brushed on top, polished on the side. This bracelet is like the um, some of the upper Brookvilles. This bracelet is actually sized with pins instead of screws. Had to do with the geometry of the bracelet. Same clasp, three positions of micro adjust though, all plated to match. Really nice looking. This guy is uh, matched too. Not really. It's not matched. Uh, it has a chocolate dial, which I feel works absolutely perfectly though with the rose gold plating of the case chocolate dial rose gold rimmed applied markers and numbers rose gold hands filled with loom really nice uh works very well on darker skin tones uh for sure um yeah, if i try to do it right with the light and i get the, the darkness reflected in it you can really see the true beauty of it come out uh, it looks awesome. I love it. Well, I just said to you, it's not really my kind of watch. And as I said, I love it. It's true, it's not my kind of watch, but I do really love it. Um, but you won't see me wearing it, more than likely. If anything, I really like this one. I'll probably be wearing this one eventually. Let's do, um, let's do the loom and see if I was right from what I recall. I believe we're looking at uh, BGW9 and then C3. Boy, was I wrong, huh? Okay, so the blue dial and the rose gold plated case are C3. It was the gun metal, that's BGW9. Uh, they all glow really well. Um, I just apparently cannot remember which is which um, until the lights go down and I can see them. Uh, but the numbers are done really well. The uh, indices, uh, the, the hands, uh, easy to tell the time. So here is Roslyn on my six and a half, six and three quarter inch wrist, 47 and a half on the lug tip to lug tip. So it's going to fit me very well, uh, 41 and change case. And then the protrusions from the left to right, as I said, give it good wrist presence. Uh, but oops, sorry about that. You can see there how it fits on my wrist. It is a, it's a large bracelet. I would say you're going up to eight inches probably on this bracelet without a problem. That blue is killer. It really pops. Ryan um, really hemmed and hawed on the blue, and I'm glad he kind of kept going back and forth because uh, I think he nailed it. It really, it's deep, 
but it's reflective. It contrasts with the yellow gold tone really, really well. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the new Islander Roslyn. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else, you can put it down below. I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.